So we had indulged, uh, decided to take uh, the new Thunderbird 500X out for a spin one early morning and uh, me and uh, my team, uh, Jaime and uh, a couple of other friends, uh, we took a couple of bikes, we took the 500X, we took uh, the classic 500 and uh, we also took uh, a Bonneville. Uh, we rode up to uh, about 250 kilometers, uh, up some guards and back. The 500X uh, stood up pretty well. The riding comfort was, uh, I would say, uh, you know, I would give it an 8 on 10. The new form in the seats makes it very comfortable for the rider. I'm not so sure about the pillion. Uh, the stock bike doesn't come with uh, any rest for the, for the pillion, but uh, probably might get a little comfortable you know, with the back rest. The seat is kind of small for the pillion, but riding comfort is uh, is, 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 a, is an 8 on 10. The new foam that they've used uh, is the same, is very similar to what you find in the Himalayan. It's, it's, not, it's not the standard uh, seats that the old bikes used to have or even the classic. And that makes uh, for some very good uh, riding comfort. We have alloy wheels on, on this bike and uh, uh, it's completely blacked out apart from uh, the, the blue. Uh, the wheels also get uh, a matching blue stripe uh, uh, right around. We have uh, disc brakes both uh, front and back. As far as the uh, uh, specs on the engine, uh, it's a 500 cc. It's the same engine as uh, on the uh, Classic and the other 500 uh, uh, machines that the Royal Enfield uh, puts out. As you all know, the 500X is a uh, it's influenced by user modification. I, I would have modified the, the older Thunderbird just like this. I've, uh, I've ridden the older Thunderbirds, I've been riding them for a couple of years now and uh, I've always wanted to change the handlebar. For me the handlebar was a bit too high and you know, I, I, I like a, a, a slightly uh, crouched position when I'm riding the bike and, would have, and I would have gone for the Electra handle. This is not the Electra handle. It's, uh, it's customized, it's uh, it's made for the Thunderbird X and uh, it makes for some fairly easy riding. The, the position of the foot pegs are a little different. If you've uh, noticed, they are slightly up front. You might find it a little different from uh, your classic uh, uh, 500cc or your uh, uh, standard model bullets. You know, the, the, the foot, foot pegs are a little up front, so it's, it's, a, little, it's a little bit like the uh, hardy, easy rider kind of position, but not with the same handlebars. The handlebars are up front and your foot pegs are also up front. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, uh, makes for some uh, easy riding. Overall, uh, we were pretty happy with the performance of the bike. Thunderbird X kept up pretty well. We rode this machine in pouring rain and uh, the bike just didn't stop. Now, this is a problem I've had in my older uh, Enfields. Uh, I ride a 96 500 and I also ride a uh, uh, 70 to uh, 350 cc and uh, heavy rain and uh, you generally have a problem with uh, you know water getting into the points and uh, the bike uh, stuttering and stopping but no such thing happening on this version. Uh, we really like the bike and its performance on the highway. I'm not so sure about the color. Uh, um, it comes with a new color scheme but uh, let's get a younger perspective on this. Uh, we have Jaydeep here and uh, he rode the bike uh, for a fair distance and uh, what do you have to say? This is the, the bullet for the younger generation. This The color says it all. It's a bright blue, definitely catchy, noticeable on the roads. They also have a bright red version, which is definitely catchy on the road, uh, which is bound to uh, raise eyebrows on the road. They also have an orange one. They have a slightly a bright orange. So this is the, the, the new look Royal Enfield for the younger, yuppier crowd. It's hip, it's cool, and uh, it definitely calls for someone pretty to be sitting at the back with you. Um, I thought the seats were not so comfortable. The seats are comfortable if you're riding and if you have someone clinging on to you, okay, uh, on the long ride. Overall, it's, it's, it's a little more compacted than you might be used to with a regular end field. It's a little compacted, it's, it's, it, it fits really well, it, it, you have a snug feeling. Uh, on, the, on the highway, it, it, uh, it doesn't really vibrate too much. Uh, it gives you a really secure, comfortable feeling. So all of that Royal Enfield feeling, the feel, the joy of riding is packed into this. It's just a smaller, compact, cooler looking package. What about the pump? 
That's everything about Royal Enfield, isn't it? Why don't you start it up? I like the bike, but I'm not so sure about the classic thump. I mean, uh, the sound is good, but uh, if you're used to the, the older machines, you might miss, uh, you know, the slower, deeper beat. But uh, as the youngsters have certified, it's for the younger generation. And uh, I must add that uh, Royal Enfield today sees a lot of uh, women riders, and uh, there's a community of uh, uh, women bikers that are, and, it, and the numbers are just growing. They might like these colors. So, uh, there you go. Royal Enfield for everybody. This is the Royal Enfield for the younger generation. It's cooler, it's hipper, it's zippier, and it's definitely a lot more happy.